Yeah, I, I shaved. I think it's alright. It's a bit it's a bit uneven. But that's pretty much any time I shave. Cause well, a whole bunch of reasons actually. Let's let's get into the thing. Yes, this is day of the day of the day the day of the day the day the day the day. It's the show where we cover the websites according to this very this one very, very specific website and so if I don't miss anything, if if I miss anything, that is probably because it's not on there. And, and the best way to tell me if something's coming up that you think I might miss is on Twitter, which is in the description of every video, as is my Twitch, not that I've streamed for like the past couple of months because I haven't thought about it. I probably could have been, because like I said, I've been playing a fuck ton of Hades, although I've also not been speaking much while playing it. And I don't know how much I will want to be a, will be able to speak during it. I don't know how much. Actually, I guess like looking at chat isn't difficult because I can do chat between. I don't know. If you're watching this and you want me to stream Hades, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions for games you would be interested in me streaming, let me know because I do I do want to get into streaming regularly. I just haven't done. Anyway, the days we're going to start with National French Fry Day, which is kind of interesting because we brought this up yesterday with the Jello thing. How uh, you call them French fries, even though they're not French. They are regularly fried, though. And obviously we call them chips, but you call crisps chips. Just to confuse everyone, I guess. Because why else? I honestly don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew why we have all these Americans. Like, the things like that, I'm sure it has, like, some strange... It has some significant origin. Why do we have, like, brands that are different? Like, we we have have Walkers, you have Lay's, same company. We have Lynx, you have Axe, again, same company. We have a company called Dove, which is different from the company that you called Dove. I can't remember what, I think the company you called Dove here is, and vice versa, because we both have both companies, but they're called different things in both places. Basically, it's confusing for no real reason. And I, I don't know why, and I, part of me wants to, because I love having pointless information like that. Next up, National Delaware Day. Uh, what, what, what this, the website that I get my like days off claims to be the first state to decide it no longer wants to be British. So that's a thing. Uh, I still don't know why we have these days for states. Because they, you're not, that, they're not important, let's be fair. Like... They're imaginarily drawn lines. Like, uh, uh, that's the thing with state borders, state lines. They are imaginary. They're not, uh, what was it? Lines of hogs, whatever it was from that, uh, picture that used the same color, like, used black for, po uh, for hog distribution on a map that had solid black borders on, that was surrounded by a sea of black. Oh, but that was a, that was a good one. Good, great idea. Uh, I, I think the flag was in the background of the thing and it was two guys looking at each other, maybe, I don't know. I don't care, I, don't, I kind of, after the every single flag is blue thing, I kind of gave up on the whole flags thing. It's like, I did it once, cause the, the flag, I think it was, was the California flag that I did first? I don't remember. But it was like an interesting flag, and I'm like, okay, yes, this will be a good bit. Forgot about it for months. And then when I started doing it again, everything was just blue, and I was like, I, I can't be asked anymore. It's, it's not that good of a bit, I don't think, because... I think it would have been a better bit if the flags were better, and they weren't just all blue. And quite bland. Although we had an interesting conversation about Battleborn because of the Nevada fl state flag. Oh, God. Finally, National Beans and Franks Day, which I immediately get, like, you know, it's like the li line, liners, hooks, and sinkers. What? You had one job! <laughs> you had that, like, how did you not put this in that, put these things in the right order? Like, I don't think I've ever heard it as not being Franks and Beans, but, so referring to it as Beans and Franks with the same, like, just using the letter N instead of the word AND inclination to it fucks me up mentally. <laughs> it's 
It's like, wait, what? You know, just shut down for a few seconds as I'm just processing what you just said because you said it wrong? Question mark? I don't know. I, I just, but, like, apparently it's just cut up pieces of sausages in beans, which I didn't know. I guess Frank's is in Frankfurters, right? Like, I didn't know, I didn't know this. I didn't know where this came from. Now I know what it is. I've learnt something today that I'm probably not going to remember and didn't really need to know because we don't... It's not that we don't do that because we do do sausages and beans, but we don't really use the phrase, fr you know, franks and beans, which I, again, it's frank and beans. In fact, the only time we might use franks and beans is talking about Frankie and Benny's. You know, we're going to frank and beans. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a strange inclination, but it still works, I think. I don't know. I, do, do Americans have Frankie and Betty's? Because I imagine not, right? Like, because it's an Italian American restaurant, right? It's it's a British. I, I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure it's a chain that exists mostly just in England. Yeah, probably it exists elsewhere, but I don't think I don't see the point in making a, that sort of thing for America, considering it's probably just pretty normal food as far as America goes. Yes, those were your days of the day. Join the broken flock and subscribe. Share this video and all the videos in the playlist. And if you haven't watched all the videos in the playlist, what are you doing? Go do that. Okay, you can skip the cube one. I'd still stand by that sentiment. And probably some of the others. At least watch the first, like, five minutes of everything so you know what's going on. <laughs> like, generally you have an idea what the episode is. Or read the description or something, like, damn, like, I know there's a lot of videos, but really, what are you doing, otherwise? I know we are coming at the, we're sort of hitting the tail end of quarantine, I say sort of, because there's still a possibility it comes back, and we probably should, probably should keep, but it, here's the thing, if we kept a more solid lockdown for another, like, couple weeks, this, that's from this point, we probably would have, it, most of it probably would have passed and we could have started everything up again properly, you know, in a couple of weeks and not have nearly as much problems as we're having now. Embrace the chaos. The world is just a bit insane and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it can be a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. There are some great aspects of the insanity of the earth. And a reminder of our goal here is to change the world and make it a better place in any way we can. I think, again, one of the main ones I keep bringing up is the lack of discrimination, you know, trying to eliminate discrimination in all its forms, and the idea of <laughs> freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequences. Like, uh, I, I was watching one of the Cultaholic News videos today with Sam Campbell, and he made a very good statement where he, he said, oh, I'm sure a bunch of people are following me or some people or whatever for saying that I don't, you know, for speaking out against these, you know, these people that are just being discriminatory and being homo, you know, being homophobic because uh, we were talking about the fact that Sonny Kiss is being, is challenging for Cody Rhodes' open title, which I think my main problem is, is there's so many other people, <laughs> there's just so many other options, although hopefully this gives a standout showing for Sonny Kiss, who is not been used a whole lot, so maybe that's the point. It's like, okay, so they've been in a few things, but not in a lot. So this could be a good chance to, you know, give them a showing, right? Put them up against Cody and just have them go and show off all the things they're capable of. So people have a better idea who they are and people are more invested in the character because there's not too much of a reason to be invested in the character at the moment, which is why I'm sort of iffy on the choice. But again, if you do it that sort of storyline or if you do you know if you book it that way so it's a you know it is a showing for that character I think it's a fine idea yeah uh, <laughs> it's a, it a bit of a tangent but I think it's relevant because again we're always trying to make the place better and telling people that are being discriminatory because a wrestler is gender fluid or gay or whatever they, they, they're unhappy they're getting a title shot just because of that to go fuck off. 
you know, basically, in somewhat nicer words, because corporate, you know, that that's a pretty good showing of making the world a better place and just telling people who, telling people who are wrong that they are wrong. And we need to do more of that and not just take it. Because <laughs> again, freedom of speech is not freedom from consequences. And that is a mistake many people make. I will see you all tomorrow for whatever is in tomorrow. And there's a few days tomorrow. I'm not going to do for it, but there is a, there's like four days tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I will see you there. Bye-bye.